Okay, I'm officially starting my first ever YouTube vlog, which is kind of terrifying. Um, I just got out of the shower and I have the shower sweats. Like, I'm sweating my ass off right now. That's why I look like a wet dog. Um, I'm going to do weekly reading vlogs, which might be somewhat disappointing for you if you watch people like Olivia Reads a Latte, which I'm doing right now. Because I probably read maybe two books in a week because I work a full-time job. Um, but I am currently 50% of the way through through Smoke and Sand by Corey Hathaway. Um, I received an art copy of this from NetGalley from the publisher and the editor, so thank you so much for that. I am obsessed with this book. So it says, The Folly of Wishes is the first book in a Through Smoke and Sand trilogy by Corey Hathaway. Um, it's a reimagining of fair godmothers with a modern twist, slow, friends to lovers, side plot, spice free. Um, Building female friendships and found family, contemporary, low fantasy, and the main character is neurodivergent. It's about this girl who basically is becoming a fairy godmother. She's going through like, almost like schooling for it. I don't know how to describe it. She meets this kind of love interest on the way. She's getting a new family, getting a new best friend. It's amazing. I love the idea of a neurodivergent um, main character because you can tell she's kind of a little awkward but honestly i love that in a character because she's just funny like the shit she comes up with is hilarious like it it just cracks me up so i am on chapter 20 i'm 50 percent of the way through hoping to get this done by tomorrow and then maybe starting a new, another book to finish through the end of the week um but i am sitting here with my coffee my kindle obviously and i am watching oh there's my dog louie and I'm watching Olivia Reads a Latte on YouTube. She's doing a 48 hour reading blog. So I'm using it to motivate myself to read a lot right now because I, I'm actually really into this book so I think I'm gonna finish it pretty quickly. So I have to get some more work done and then I have to go pick up my car from getting an oil change. I'm doing laundry and then I'm going to the gym at 7.30. So uh, it's 1.12 right now. I probably should have said that at the beginning of this but it's 1.12 in the afternoon. I'm gonna make myself some lunch Sit my ass down with my Kindle and read as much as I can. Do some more work. Pick up my car for an oil change. Come back and read, hopefully outside. Um, it's relatively nice out, so maybe I'll go sit outside in my gazebo. And then go to the gym, and I will have a reading update later today. different location now I am now sitting in my reading room because it's much warmer in this room and I got my doggy in here it's doing a snooze I don't even know what chapter I'm on I'm pretty sure I'm heading into 21 loving this book it reads so fast because it's just so like fun to follow this main character um so I am just going to keep reading there's really no update yet because I haven't read that much so let's read morning it is now Tuesday the 20 oh, it is Tuesday the 28th now doing a quick reading check-in my hair looks wild let me put this up quick whatever um I didn't do any check-ins last night just because life got crazy per usual I got swamped at work and then I had to go try my wedding dress on at my parents house and then I went to the gym came back ate showered and went right to bed because I was exhausted but I did get to chapter 25 on Through Smoke and Sand 
by Corey Hathaway. Still loving it. it. Shit just hit the fan, so now it's like really intense. Before it was kind of just like a contemporary fantasy where we were just going through her day to day. And shit got crazy last night. So I literally cannot wait to continue reading this. Um, I got my greens. I have my coffee chilling in the um, in the fridge because I only drink iced coffee. Um, so I'm gonna go get ready for work right now and then we're gonna head out. I should have a relatively short day today, I don't know. And like I said, I drive for work, so I have an audiobook. Actually, let me just show you. 93% of the way through Secluded Clav and Sleep 6. So I will definitely be finishing that today. I don't have any more audiobooks on hold, but I do have some on Libro. Honestly, I'll probably finish that audiobook. See if there's anything good available on Libby. And then either listen to music or watch YouTube or something. I don't know. Yeah, let's go. I am officially on my way to work. I have about an hour and 50 minutes until I'll be at my first store, so I'm going to listen to the rest of Secluded Cab, Ca oh my God, why can't I say that? Sec Secluded Cabin Sleep Six, and then we'll go from there. I don't know if I'm gonna start another audiobook or maybe just watch some YouTube or listen to music, we'll see. So, let's go. Job in the he loved his job, and I hated mine. Least task in a legal profession. Every night, I'd sit in conference rooms studying piles of papers. Now, Wednesday the 29th at about 10 a.m. I've had a shitty morning. My car is having some issues for the third fucking time in three months. So it's at the dealership and I've been dealing with that all morning. I'm gonna make myself my coffee, my greens, and I'm going to decompress and read my book. <sighs> Being a grown up is not fun. It's not all it's cracked up to be. Mm. These greens just always hit the spot. They are so fucking good, and I'm not just saying that. With orange juice, chef's kiss. Coffee time. Mm. Here are my beverages. It is now time to go and sit my ass down decompress from all the stress of my life right now and read. Okay, before I get into reading, I wanted to update on uh, Through Smoke and Sand by Corey Hathaway. I am, I stayed up till like, I stayed up later than I should have last night reading, but I'm on chapter 31. Shit really just hit the fan. I thought shit hit the fan before, but now there's like this new plot coming through and this is the action this right here so i'm hoping i can finish this today i only have eight more chapters i think i think there's 38 chapters total so 38 including this one so i'm gonna sit my ass down and read for the next couple hours because i can't mentally do anything else because i'm so stressed out about my fucking car but let's read <laughs> Okay, it is about five o'clock in the afternoon and I have decided that hey, that my brain needs fresh air. So I am sitting in my gazebo outside 
and I am going to sit here and read for like an hour. I have to go to the gym at 6.20, so I have to leave at about, I think I gotta leave at like 5.45 to pick up my mom, but I'm gonna read and decompress from the shitty ass day. So let's do it. It is now 9.45 at night. Um, I just did some YouTube stuff because I'm really trying to get my shit together before I po actually post on my social media channels that I have a YouTube channel because I'm terrified to do that. Um, but I have like 15% left of my Kindle book from uh, Through Smoke and Sand. I'm sitting down and I'm not letting myself sleep until I finish it. So let's do it. hopping on here really quick because I need to tell you guys this quote from this book because this is so freaking funny. There's a lot of stuff going on right now and it's it's a very serious moment and like a serious plot point but the one fairy godmother who I love and is like one of the main people in the story basically almost just got hit by something and they thought she I don't know if this is what and that everybody thought something happened and they were all freaking out, blah, blah, blah. And then she comes around this item and it says, well, she patted at her hat, dusted off her robe and did her best to smile. There's no point in having a rear end this size if it doesn't let you fall without breaking a hip. I always knew those muffins were a good idea. That is so funny. Like it's a serious, serious moment and there's humor in this. I love this friggin' book. This is hilarious. Um, there's a lot of moments where it's supposed to be really serious and then either the main character or somebody says something funny and it just lightens up the mood a little bit. It makes it a lot more enjoyable to read. So I uh, got 10% left, so I'm gonna keep reading. It is literally 12, 18 at night um, on what day? I don't even know, Wednesday. This is continuing from Wednesday. God, I'm so tired. Um, I finished Through Smoke and Sand by Corey Hathaway. So good. This is probably gonna get like, honestly, I wanna say this is gonna be a five star, but I'm gonna gather my thoughts over the night and do an official update in the morning, but it had everything that I want in like a cozy fantasy and like something that's just like easy to read, but still intriguing and still has a really good plot line and great characters. Um, so I'm thinking this is gonna be a five star and I'm shocked. So I will have an official review and ending to this video tomorrow morning when I have brain cells functioning. So good night. Morning, it is now Thursday the 30th at about 9 a.m. Um, I have tired eyes. I'm exhausted. I stayed up till like 1 a.m. last night so I could finish my book. Um, Louie's crying at the back door. Um, I'm gonna make myself coffee, my greens, clean up this kitchen a little bit because it's a hot mess. When I'm actually ready for the day, I think I'm gonna film my official review for Through Smoke and Sand because I'm tired right now and don't feel like doing it. So. I'm gonna clean up the kitchen quick and then we'll do some review. All right, 
I'm here because I want to show you the next book I'm reading. Um, as you know, I finished through Santa Smoke last night, which I will be reviewing later on in this video. I am doing the Barnes & Noble reading challenge, and I've read a decent amount of the prompts. But one of the prompts was to read, like, a graphic novel slash manga. And I was watching some YouTube videos of the queens of manga, who are Gabby Reeds and Katie Colson. And they both were talking about this book that I got. I got this probably two months ago and, like, have been terrified to actually read it. But it's March 30th, so I want to be able to finish one more book because I have nine. So if I read one more... I will have 10 and this seems like the type of book that you can obviously finish very quickly because it's mostly pictures but that book is Killing Stalking by Kooji? Kugi? One of those but um this I guess is really fucked up like very dark very deep very very like trigger warnings. I guess it's about this guy that's like obsessed with somebody else that he goes to school with he ends up in his house and see some very very dark deep things so um as you can see most of the pages are just like pictures with some words so i think i can read this today so i'm going to pack this with me for my work bag i'm heading to connecticut for a meeting um so i'm going to bring this with me and i'm pretty sure i'm going to finish um something borrowed which is the audio audio book i'm listening to so i should have two more books done today okay. Which is great because then that means I read 10 books in the month of March, which is amazing. And then when I come home, I don't normally do TBRs just because I never stick to them because I'm such a mood reader. But I think I'm going to pick out like three or four books that like I really want to read in the month of April. So we'll do that when I get home. But that will be a separate video. So you won't see that in this video. But wish me luck on my very first graphic novel slash manga. I'm hoping that if I really like this, I will... um continue on in this series because I heard it's amazing if you like really dark deep stuff so okay I'm coming to you from a new Barnes and Noble I'm actually in like Enfield Connecticut and I have a meeting at 2 but it's currently 1241 so I have like an hour to kill um, I'm gonna go into a diff a new Barnes and Noble I'm going to browse around. I'm probably not going to buy anything because I don't want to. Um, I'm going to bring my work bag in and hopefully they have a cafe in there that I can sit and do some work and get some reading done. So let's go. Mm -hmm. 